Hey guys, it's Jagar Rashida with another episode of Miss Giddy's Kitchen. Today I'm super excited because we are going to be making some drinks. That's why I'm dressed like this. Like I want to pretend like I'm on the beach in Jamaica or something like that. But today we're going to be making a rum punch, which I love. Anytime I go on vacation, especially Jamaica, I'm literally drinking rum punches from sunup to sundown. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make rum punches at home. Let's get started. All right guys, so let's get started with the ingredients. So for me, what I like to do is I like to use a medley of different juices. So here we have a mango juice. We have like already made like fruit punch blend. I have some orange juice and then we have a little bit of pineapple juice. And that's just what I like to use, but whatever juices that you have, you can use it. But again, it's a rum punch. So you wanna make sure it's kind of something that's tropical similar to what they have on islands, okay? And then you also want to use some dark rum and some light rum. So I'm using um, a dark rum. It's just a regular rum. This happens to be Bacardi, but you can use whatever you have. And then I have Malibu. This one is coconut flavored rum. I love the way the coconut flavored rum, how it really just makes everything more tropical with the rum punch so i would recommend using something coconut flavored and then here i have a mango flavored um vodka um i think that you should use flavored rums or whatever type of alcohol you choose because it helps add towards the tropical feel of the drink sometimes um i do have Ray Nephew here as well. Some people use this as well, but I feel like sometimes it can make it be a little bit too strong, but it really depends on your preferences. If you want to use Ray Nephew, go ahead. But this is the rum from Jamaica, just so you guys know. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing I like to do is I like to add in like my lighter juices, if that makes sense. I don't really have like a measurement, but I definitely add in mostly my mango juice. Then I like to add in some little bit of orange, not a lot because I don't want it to taste like a citrus orange juice. And then I add in my fruit punch. So this is a color that you definitely want. You want it to be like a mixture, like something that's like, you know, like the sun. And then I have a little bit of pineapple juice. So I'm gonna add that in as well. Okay. Just give that a mix. Now I'm gonna take my limes. I like to always take my limes and just press them against a cutting board or any hard service so that it's not that hard for you to them and the lime really adds like a great touch to it like a refreshing taste so it's just not like a whole bunch of juice that you're drinking I know some people have like rum punches that you're drinking and they'll taste like straight juice but it has like a lot of different type of alcohol in it I think those are kind of the best because they kind of sneak up on you So now I'm just gonna taste this and see how this tastes without the alcohol first. Let's see. It's really good. I'm going to add a little bit more of the pineapple juice. And I think that's all it needs. So now I'm gonna add in the alcohol. This is my favorite part. So again, this is gonna help towards like the flavors. The coconut definitely gonna help with that. Let's go add some of that in there. You can measure it. I like to eyeball it, whatever I like. That's what I add. Um, dark rum. I to put that in there too. This is like one fourth of a cup. Let's see how that works. Mm, a little bit more. It's the weekend. It's summertime. And then I have the mango pineapple. Let's add that in there too. Wow. 
wow, I can smell it. It smells just like rum punch from Jamaica. I'm so hyped right now. Oh my God, I'm so hyped. And then also I'm gonna actually put the other lime in there. Sometimes you could just leave the lime, you could throw it in there. I love this. And this is great, like if you're having a party, if you're having a barbecue, invite some friends over and get drunk, pretty much. All right, so let's try this. I'm so excited. Let's see how this tastes. This is so good. I'm gonna make mine a little bit stronger just because I really like rum and I like a lot of strong kick in mine. So I'm gonna add more. I still have a whole day ahead of me so I can't get too drunk. Okay, and I, want, I don't want it to be too strong. All right. This is perfect. And it's so weird because for rum punches, it's like a syrupy like thickness. Like once you add the dark liquor with the light liquor, that's what you always taste. And this is exactly what that is. And it really, really reminds me of being on the island in Jamaica right now. Ooh, I'm so excited. But I'm so happy to share this recipe with you guys. I want you guys to try it at home. All right guys, so there you have it. The Jamaican rum punch. This came out so great. This is one of my favorite drinks. It really, really reminds me of being back home in Jamaica, just being on the beach. But you guys know what to do. Comment, like, subscribe, and make sure you follow Miss Goody's Kitchen on Instagram. And let me guys know how your bum punch came out. Enjoy.